sun has now found its home in the western sky, and it is Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, home of the LSU Tigers, one of the great venues in college football. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. LSU ready to kick it away to get things started. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So Ole Miss offense will take the first swing of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. They'll try it over the left side. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse B. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. The Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll bring it back. It's Thomas. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. So LSU's offense will have its first possession of the game. As dynamic as this guy is on the outside, Jesse, you know he's going to be cheating that way from his free safety position. You're right, because as a quarterback, I just can't throw to my guy in the perimeter, right? I got to attack the middle of the field. The problem is you've got one of the best safeties in the nation who likes to lay people out. Yeah, roaming the middle of the field, reading the quarterback's eyes, and he's got an eye on that receiver out there, too, that's dynamic. So let's see what kind of day he can have. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. The gift to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd. Don't let him get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. How about this crowd rattling the rafters and trying to help their defense? He gets it all the way out to the 19-yard line, a pickup of six.
And the Rebels want to move quickly. Wants to throw. It's dark. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver of the middle of the field. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. At the 45 on his way. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Well, the defense knew coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there and make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football, and they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. Right back to the well. Runs through a tackle. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played, and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. On second down, he'll let it fly. Gets it out quickly. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. Trying to pick it up on the ground. The Rebels have enough for the first down. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. And the Rebels will line it up on first and ten. He leaves it with his back. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. The Rebels moving quickly to the line. He'll do it himself. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Rebels. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. PAT unit on the field. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. 
Got his man on the right. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. And that's a gut punch, especially if you're the offensive coordinator, because that was sort of a foreign look, the pre-snap motion, a timing play, trying to get the receiver the football quickly. You're expecting to outflank the defense, but give the defense a ton of credit. They made the bigger play, and now they've set you up in a fourth down. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. And the Rebels in the hurry up. He's looking for a man on second down. Caught in the backfield, it's Watkins. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. Intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. Fires toward the end zone. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. What a play by the defender there, guys. In his own end zone. The offense has taken a shot, and if that defender was just one step behind, that would have been a touchdown. But the hit forces the incompletion. After the incompletion, here comes second and ten from the 32. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. Gets it out fast. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. And LSU starting to get that passing attack cranked up. And this is a unit that typically LSU is as good as they are at quarterback. We know they're going to be physical. We know they got athletes all over the field. But when they get really good quarterback play, those teams are really special. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, the offense was trying to go draw and make it look like pass, but I'll tell you, the linebackers weren't fooled. They came down hard quickly, got into the backfield, and got the tackle for loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Leaves it with the back. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. He splits to the uprights and puts three on the board.
After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Just trucks through it. And the returner will be brought down. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, Paul, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this drop. The Rebels want to crank the tempo. Now they'll run it to the right here. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Here. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Dart. He makes the connection. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. With the line of scrimmage at the 28, this would be about a 45-yard field goal attempt. They're going to keep the offense out there on fourth down. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. Well, it's a heck of being conservative, right? I mean, that essentially would have just been a two-shot field goal with where they were on that fourth down. But they decide to go for it, throw it. They're looking for six. They're going for a touchdown. They are being aggressive. And the Rebels look to keep this drive humming. From the red zone, looking for a man. He caught it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Ole Miss. So much about the passing game is about timing, execution, communication, and these two, that, that's a virtual textbook there. And no doubt about it. And the receiver making plays for his quarterback, being dependable, running the route to the right depth consistently, does a great job running his route, great result because of it. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point makes it 14-3. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They'll run it from the gun. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The play action fake. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. 
They knew they could slip that tight end behind the backers with that play action fake. Well, it's because I can't win, Reese. I, I have to play the run. You know, all these RPOs, all these different things. I, it makes me come up and use my eyes and play run. And these tight ends are so valuable to find space behind. Knew where he was going with the football the whole time because the big fella, he's always open. Well, the offense is trying to go counter, but the defense blows it up. And they do it by getting penetration up the middle, setting up the tackle for loss. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. They come to the line with a minute to play in the opening quarter. Back to throw. It's Dart. Makes the grab. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Good play by the defense. Way to wrap them up. Way to know where the sticks are. Now puts you in a successful position for third down. Now you can break out the fun packages, the blitzes, putting more speed, more little fast guys on the field. The Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. They'll leave it with him. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block that. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? On the return, it's Thomas. Bottled him up, not a whole lot of room to run on that return, and that's how this period will come to an end. We've come to the end of the period, and Ole Miss is on top. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Looking to go up top on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Lacey. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. Death Valley has a well-earned rep of being intimidating. It is nice to be the quarterback to have everything on your side. And have everything quiet. It's the loudest place by far that I ever played. I mean, for an entire game, they are on their feet yelling, screaming. Now, listen, we can't play all the words they're yelling, Reese but they are an intimidating crane. Part of the backfield, it's Daniels. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking for a man, it's Nussmeyer. Short throw to the sideline is complete, and he's out of bounds after picking up a couple. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. That last completion is still leaving them with a third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. <laughs> He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. You've got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. LSU moving quickly, going to work again on first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. 
LSU doing what it always does when they're really good, moving the ball on the ground. Yeah, trying to find that physicality. They get so many great players across the country. LSU has the pick of people in Louisiana. Everybody wants to come there, and you can tell they always find great talent, and they're always able to run the football. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. What a nice answer by this defense. You give up the big play, you respond right back, you get the sack, create some momentum for your side. Nice job by this defense staying with it. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. From the shotgun, the inside give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Tigers line it up with a first and goal. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. <laughs> And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. I love the awareness by the defense here. Everyone thinking first down, down close to the goal line, the offense is going to run the football, right? But this defense was ready for the chance that the offense might throw it. So defenders playing the pass and getting upfield, getting to the QB. Awesome job. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's got it. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Off play action. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. The quarterback and receiver on the same page there on the curl route. Nice job by the receiver finding the soft spot and zone and just settling down, making that throw a whole bunch easier. They've already squandered a couple of chances to score touchdowns in the red zone, and now another opportunity. It's third and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, LSU! And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They put together an 81-yard drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. And the Rebels will hustle to the line.
looking to throw. It's Dart. Snags it over the middle. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. The Rebels will line up to punt it away. He gets a block. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. Got it in the middle. It's Thomas. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. Well, LSU receivers are known for their swagger. That is swagger well earned after that one. Uh, you go outside and you make plays like, listen, you have swag, you have confidence, and you usually get a little bit loud. You seem like, listen, feed me the rock. So many great LSU receivers in the past, and it's because of that swag. The give is to Williams. Across the 25, he's got room. Makes the stop at the 23-yard line, but it's a pickup of 15. A first down, and this offense is smelling the end zone. It's a draw. They make the stop, but you can't give up four yards a chunk on the ground down in this area of the field. It's at the 18. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. Deep shot for the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Man, what a great break on the ball. Way to knock it down. But, man, this situation, they're, they're in, almost in field goal range. Had a chance to maybe take some points off of the board. That's a big play that we might circle back to later. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. Here's the return from inside his tent. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. What a snag by the defense. Bringing it back. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. A 
offense set on first down. They go to the ground. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown by you, Bengals. And that's what I love about empty sets and formations on offense is that when you spread the defense out, you create bigger lanes to throw into. You saw it right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. They'll put the tight end in motion. To the ground with the back. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And running backs are so good, so talented, so elusive. You see nowadays they really have the ability to make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, it's going to be hard to stop. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. He'll come out throwing on first down. He hurls one deep down the left side. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback, and now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you're throwing to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. From the gun, running back gets to give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, that play didn't stand a chance. I mean, nobody even blocked that guy. And he's able to get the tackle for loss. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Dropping back. It's dark. Not quite in rhythm there. Incomplete. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. The Rebels will punt this one away. They'll look to pin them deep. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll toss it across the 45. 
He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. The pull and throw off the RPO. And they pick up just a few on that completion. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that route. Offense gets set for second down. Scanning the field, it's Nussmeyer. He lost one down the sideline. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, passing complete. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. Touchdown, LSU! What a catch and run for six. And that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. I'll tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game when he can do this kind of damage after he catches the football. Lining up for the PAT. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And the Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Power football with the run. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Looking to pass. It's dark. Dances away from the heat. Quarterback gets past the marker. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Rebels have it with a first and ten. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Now on second and short after that pickup. He's looking to throw. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Defense doing a great job watching the quarterback's eyes and breaking on the ball. They already have two picks in the game, and they swat that one away. They are doing an awesome job in coverage. 
Better find the ear plugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. And the Rebels will call on their punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run. He lobs one high down the left side. A full dive to haul that one in. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. That last big play has them in position to threaten here, first and 10 from the 37. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude. And you can tell they put the hit on him. And that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Finds his man down the middle. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the... And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Nice pitch and catch. This receiver and quarterback have done this thousands of times. Finds the open man, throws a strike, and the receiver does the rest, gets into the end zone. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and the lead moves to 20. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Comes out throwing on first down. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. Dances away to buy time. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking to throw, it's dark. Bought a little time, lets it go. Out of the backfield, he's open. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Going up top on first down. Got him downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. The Rebels have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. That's caught. It's Priestcorn. 
Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Well, this tight end is so athletic that at times they'll line him up in different parts of the field. That time he was in the slot. Nice job running the route, finding the open space in the defense for the completion. And the Rebels are threatening in the red zone. He wants it all. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. And perfect timing. Got there right when the ball got there. Didn't get there a little bit early. Saving the touchdown. Nice timing by that defender. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away, and that's one he'd like to have back. That last play, not what they had in mind, and they've got a long way to go to get it close to the goal line to pick up a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And this is the hardest part of the field to execute a third and long. Everybody drops back now, and they're just covering the red zone area. So little space to cover. But the good news is, now fourth and long makes the decision easy. Kick the field goal. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back, and they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. The Rebels will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Thomas. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs to help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right, that pocket has been shaky, and if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football game. Found a little space and he's got four to the 35. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. 
They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. That is a good omen for this defense. They were getting lit up in the first half. They knew something had to change. So to set the tone like this early on their opening drive of the third quarter and get a stop on third, that should really help their confidence. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Watkins. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. And the Rebels are in the hurry up. He's got it again. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Got it behind the line. It's Amos. Made a defender miss. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That's not at all where he intended to go with the ball on third and long, but it worked out beautifully. And the frustrating thing, Reese, is from a defensive perspective, I want you to throw it to the running back. I don't want to take away the main targets, the ballers on the outside. You do what I want you to do, and you still make the big play, get the huge first down on third and long. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Yeah, and he had an opportunity to make such a big play. Listen, he wasn't wide open with nobody around him, but you got to make that play. You got a little bit of space. You got to haul that in, make your quarterback look good, and make a big play for this offense. He'll keep it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. To the air. It's dark. Back open in the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Really great job by the running back there on the angle route on third down. He sold it as if he was running to the flat and at the last second put his foot in the ground and crossed the defender's face, making that an easy pitch and catch for the QB. The Rebels headed quickly to the line. From the gun, the ground game. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Up 
operating in the red zone here on second down. Single back formation and they give it to it. Relying on that running game inside the red zone. He picked up three to the 11. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, if you want to run the ball up the middle, you're going to have to block that guy. I mean, nobody even touched him, and he slanted right into the backfield, made the tackle for loss. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Splits the uprights, it's good. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he'll bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. The give to the back. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Here comes the option. He'll toss it. And that's what this option will do to you. They got the pitch man free, and he was off to the races. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. LSU, quick to the line. Caught behind the line. It's Daniels. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. They got zero push up front, and they stopped him in the backfield. And how about that? You don't see those, you know, touch passes go for negative yards very often. Usually this is a short flip that counts as a completion that goes a long way, but the defense aggressive. Saw it pulled the trigger, came outside, made sure he didn't get outside and get to that edge. Nice job by the defense. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit and just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets to this deficit and put some points on the board. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Pulls it in. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. 
That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. You get a play like that, and you feel like you can go in and finish the deal. It'll be first and ten from just inside the 50. Feeling some heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Makes the grab down the middle. They get him down after he makes a catch. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Leaves it with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own. Fortunately, ended up losing yards. And the Rebels send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Bringing it back, it's Thomas. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punt. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. It is hard to continue to get up and get up and get up like he has being sacked time after time again. But this QB, this offense, they're undeterred. They're continuing to put drives together. And most importantly, they're winning the football game. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. The give to the tailback. Bowles his way forward. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Quickly complete. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. They get him down after he makes the catch. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. Third and short coming here right from the midfield strike. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Looking deep down the right side. What a catch and what a throw along the sideline. Just sings it in there. A little Barishnikov for the toe tap. And that had to be a coverage bust on defense. There is no rhyme or reason why receivers should be that wide open, that deep down the field. Defense, they better check themselves. LSU right back to the line.
An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. The delay of game pushes the offense back. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's got it on the run. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. Snap it to the back. Touchdown, Tigers! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down into this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. They'll go right back to him. Out to the 36-yard line after gaining 10 on that one. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anyway. The Rebels want to move quickly. From the gun, running back on the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're just trying to run the ball, but that time there was absolutely nowhere for the running back to go, and as a result, that's a tackle for loss. Trying to pick up a first down. They'll try the run. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Off play action on first down grabbed over the middle it's Harris and the catch and run into the end zone touchdown Rebels 
The defense just lost track of him. There's no other explanation. I've got to assume they knew he was in an eligible position. Or it was just ridiculously good scheming on the offense, Reese. I mean, just an unbelievable job of getting your guy wide open. Lining up to add another. Right down the middle. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Fires to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Lacey. And he's brought down after a huge completion. He is having a day, and there's still a ways to go, but pretty soon he might make a call on Kayshawn Booty's single-game receiving record. Yeah, and if I'm him, I'm going to my QB and be like, listen, dog, I'm close. <laughs> Feed me that rock. I want to go get the record. Nobody's guarding me. Nobody can stop me. Just get it to me, and I'll make the plays for you. And right now, listen, if I'm the LSU quarterback, I'm like, yeah, you keep doing that, I'll keep feeding you the rock. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. The option look. He'll pitch it. Hard running there. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him, and it's sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. From the gun, the running back has it. Shakes off the defender. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run play action. Catch in the middle. It's Bentley. 
And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is special. The Rebels are on the move. They'll give it to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Looking downfield, it's dark. Pocket starts to collapse. Rush coming in hot, and they got him at the 29. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires deep toward the end zone. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. And he missed it. No good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. here on offense let's see what they have dialed up as this drive starts from the 29 yard line and they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge they got nothing on the last play at second and ten he's looking to throw Finds his man. It's Lacey. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. No gain on first down after the incompletion. Now, second and 10 from the 40. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Got it in the middle. It's Thomas. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk of play. Yeah, and, and winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it. Keep getting those stats. Grab behind the line. It's Lacey. They make the stop. Not a whole lot of ground picked up there, and they'll have work to do to get the first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. He'll take a shot. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. 
sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling the rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. Haven't seen a lot of balls falling complete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. They keep attacking through the air. Grabbed in the middle, it's Taylor. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that and here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead. Guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. Let's it fly deep downfield. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. That play call is going to force a lot of people to scratch their heads because you've got the lead late. Why aren't you just running the ball? When you throw, you risk having interceptions like that right there. That should have been picked. Now on second down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Tough sliding there as he picks up one to the 29. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Going for it all. And it's caught. Touchdown, Tigers. Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. Just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Complete to the right. Open runway ahead. The 20. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And once he got loose, it was all over. Such a nice job by the wide receiver there on the corner route. He did a nice job off of the stem, not telegraphing where he was going. The defender had no idea. And when he broke to the corner, he created a little bit of separation. There was an accurate throw. He made the catch and then took it into the end zone. to attempt the try. Bangs it through for an extra point. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Trying play action. With the catch, it's Anderson. 
They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. To the air, it's Nussmeyer trying to get to him. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. Couldn't make the play on first down. They'll try it again, second and 10 from the 27. The aerial assault continues. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Lacey. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. Well, I love play callers that want to stay aggressive, regardless of what the score is, regardless of how much time is left on the clock. And I promise you this, there are a lot of fans, there are a lot of teams all across college football that are paying attention to what is happening right now. LSU, quick to the line. Coming out on first down with the play fake. The short hands, it's Lacey. <laughs> Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. You string together a few games like this, and all of a sudden you're pursuing Jamar Chase for that single-season receiving record. And pursuing some postseason hardware, too, baby. Like, you're trying to be the best receiver in football. You're trying to be an All-American, and it's plays like this that starts getting that, that pub going, the hype train going, and at the end of the year, you want to be like, best receiver in football? Where is he from? Baton Rouge. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? The give is to Williams. Fights off a defender. And it took the defense a bit to get a handle on him, a little slippery with all those juke moves. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, LSU! The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spread them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Going up top. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. Got his man downfield. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. 
video game type numbers now for this QB. He has been virtually unstoppable, and you know the Heisman voters are taking account of what he has done here in this game. He's got over 450 passing yards now. Wants to throw on first down. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. All right. Well, the quarterback's showing you he is human after all. Finally throws an incompletion. And not just that. After a couple completions back to back to back, almost throws a pick. Now on second down after the incompletion. Back to throw. It's dark. Unloads to the wideout. Right through his hands and incomplete, and he'll want that one back. It'll be third down. Well, the receiver did everything right. He ran a good route. He got his head around. He just didn't finish the play. Just look it in. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Complete to the right. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And he gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. They'll throw it on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Wells. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. I mean, just have a day already. He's right on the cusp of 500 yards through the air. And I know he did an outstanding job all week long in practice, watching film and taking every rep seriously and personally on the practice field building up to this one because he's barely made any mistakes today. They're going to throw it again. With the catch, it's Amos. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. And the Rebels look to do some damage in the red zone. On second down, looking to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Wells. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Coaches always tell their quarterbacks, you can't go broke taking a profit. You can't always hit posts and bombs deep down the field. If the coverage takes away throws downfield, just take what's underneath and let your receiver advance the football. Wants to throw. It's dark. Caught near the sidelines. He'll pick up a few before going out of bounds. And this game is obviously out of hand. And, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw checkdowns, right? Let, let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. On second down, looking again to throw. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels! Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. They want that clock to run. 
And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. They'll go to the ground. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. He will not get there. They'll turn it over on downs, and that leaves the door open. First down here for the offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. It's great for this quarterback to take shots down the field, but you just don't want it to feel like a give up or a chuck it up and hope kind of play. And I think understanding the situation. Now I'm on defense, right? If they're going to take shots down the field, maybe I'm a little bit more. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down set. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. And now such a tough situation late in this game. You're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. On fourth down, looking for the completion. A deep throw as the clock winds down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. And they'll take a knee and watch this clock keep on winding, winding its way toward a victory.